this is basically what we've been doing. So, as the production of this whole classroom um, sort of fed in with the genius table and all the explicit areas they um, developed, and um, we sort of decided to, instead of just writing maths targets and, and like writing, we decided to go all out, all different colours, and express our personalities on the world. Um, these are some of the drawings taken from the classroom. Um, and these lockers are just fantastic examples of how anyone can really represent who they are by just drawing on their lockers and doing it the same. Um, my locker, it wasn't very hard to make. I just printed out some pictures, stuck them in my locker really. And um, drew some of my own pictures, but it would be very different other people's lockers and the way that they look because everyone sort of has their own personality, their own interests. And yeah, so um, this is basically what happened for each student to get their locker um, all the way up to um, when we started putting our maths targets inside our lockers. So um, we were assigned a locker at the start of the year, particular locker. Um, then we put in excess books or whatever we did we wanted to put in there. And we wrote our maths target in black pen only, which was um, a salesman's idea. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that I'm a year eight teacher, and next year you come into my class and you tell me about these ideas, and I'm thinking, well, if you're going to write stuff on there, what stops you from writing kind of rude or offensive stuff on there, or using it as a tool for bullying? What would you say back to me? Well, I would probably say it's just you have to have some self-discipline with this, because this whole situation of writing on lockers and this whole development of this room, you have to really have a lot of um, self-discipline. Uh, yeah, my locker, I have kind of a little bit of a violent picture. Um, it's just about <laughs> the Joker and Batman. But um, I personally really like that and comics. Um, so when I put that up, I wasn't really afraid that anyone was really going to judge me um, of how bad that actually is. So. Yeah, no, it's, it's like, it depends at which age you're at. Because if you put something on that younger people might not understand, then it might be less, it's less interesting and it's just not very nice to put something like that because it might be fun mm -hmm. do whatever. In your defense with that with the Joker, yeah. um, you could argue that in that film the Joker is the good guy and Batman's the bad guy. Yeah. We'll save that for another time. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
whose job is it to teach that self-discipline? Yeah, the 